I just thought I'd explain to you how I make food for my corals. I use two ingredients. The first one, cyclopes, and I just use the flakes. And then I also just use spirulina. So to feed my tank, I grab a bunch of cyclopes, about that much. Maybe just a bit more. I don't know if you can see that. But if it ends up being about that. Then I get some spirulina, pop it in like this. Probably a bit too much there. Then I get my squirter, put some water in, just like this. Then I get the mortar and spin it around like that. Obviously this mix of food is not suitable for the fish, only for the corals. So once I have the mixture of food, which I don't know if you can see this, but it's sort of in there. I grab the squirter, pop it like that, and put it into the tank. And it's a very fine powder. And I just put it in like that, just to feed the goniopora. Now, now that I've got it in there, I'll turn on the air pump which when the water level is lowered actually turns the tank into a little well it makes waves so it's got quite good movement there and once that gets going I'll just zoom in on some of the corals, you can see it gives very good movement, much like the ocean. And the waves, you know, they're pretty good. During this process, also, I have the skimmer off. And I'll leave it off for about four hours. And I feed the fish or the corals in this way twice a day. Now I'll feed the fish. There's a lot of food in there, but it seems to work well. I'll now turn on the sump return pump and that will stop the waves. Now the tank's back to normal. The whole tank is circulated with the 
air compressor. It's a fairly gentle motion but a lot of water is moved around. I have tried power heads but this system seems to work a lot better and it uses a lot less power. All three tanks can be powered. Got a tank there, a tank there, which is a meter by a meter, and another tank here. Once again, we've got a little air balls going there. They can all be circulated with 45 watts of power. And I'll show you the little air compressor. That's, that's the air compressor there and it's approximately about six meters away from the tank and I can put it behind a door so the noise is reduced. It's not too noisy though.